Heading into this upcoming weekend, we have a high pressure that's going to set up and it's actually going to bring in some drier air. It's going to increase temperatures, but another factor is the Saharan dust, which is being transported all the way from the west coast of Africa. And every time we see this, sometimes we get some beautiful sunrises and sunsets because of the extra layer of dust in the atmosphere. But whenever we talk about these beautiful sunrises and sunsets, which by the way, some of you have been sharing some great photos at the First Coast News Weather Watchers Facebook page of them, and please do check that out if you do want to share some photos. We talk about this weather lore. I was in the Navy for a bit, and this is one of those kind of little things you say, red sky night, sailors delight, red sky in the morning, sailors take warning. Is there any truth to this? And reality is, there is some science to back it up. If you do have that red sky in the morning, sailors take warning, right? Sometimes this means that you have, you know, a storm approaching from the west. You get that reflection off of the clouds and with the sunrise off towards the east. Some of that scattering, it does bring a beautiful sunrise. Not to mention it does help to lift up some of the aerosols in the atmosphere during your morning hours. Now, if you do have that beautiful sunrise at night, sailors delight, right? Well, that's because you do have a retreating clouds with that sun setting towards your west. And often when you have a beautiful sunrise into the evening, like we're going to see this upcoming weekend, it's because you have a high pressure overhead. Those aerosols up into the atmosphere creates some beautiful sunsets. So just a little bit of science behind that weather lore you probably have heard before. I'm First Coast News Meteorologist Robert Spetta on your side.